Our next question comes now from Steve Botari. For a decade now, the state has been grappling with the crisis of opioid addiction and with death. 430 people died last year from drug overdoses. The numbers go up, they go down. Families are still being ripped apart, though, by this. Senator Ayotte, how satisfied are you with the state's approach currently? Uh, I would say that uh, we aren't doing all that we can. It's so important. I've met so many families uh, that have lost someone that they love, uh, and it's unfortunate we are still struggling with a drug crisis. I appreciate the work that's been done on the doorway program, and that's very positive. But again, I want to make sure that we make sure that the programs are all measured, that they're effective, that we build partnerships with cities like Manchester, other areas uh, like Nashua that are struggling with the drug addiction crisis. Uh, and let's get people that hand up so that they can succeed through treatment, recovery, uh, and then also let's get to prevention, where we're actually getting into our schools more. Uh, we're talking about this issue so that we can prevent people from using opioids in the first place. Senator Morris, you've been a part of state government as this crisis has unfolded. What has not worked in your view that you could immediately fix if elected governor? Yeah, what hasn't worked is the federal government. That's why when I got into this race, I endorsed Donald Trump because I believe the first thing we need to do in New Hampshire is stop the drugs. We need to close our borders, the north, the south, the east, the west. We need to have a president, Trump, that's going to close the borders in our country, stop the illegals from coming in, stop the drugs from coming in. You know, if we had a Kelly's way, she voted for amnesty for 11 million illegal immigrants to come into our country, or we're in our country, and she voted for that. That's not the right answer to stop this drug problem. We need to close the borders and stop the drugs. Senator Ayotte, response. Uh, this is simply not true. I voted for more border security, doubling the amount of ICE agents, shipping back the criminals. But make no mistakes, I'm a former murder prosecutor. We should have the toughest penalties for fentanyl dealers in the country here in New Hampshire. And when I'm governor, we will do that. And by the way, Chuck Morse actually killed the sanctuary city bill that would have banned sanctuary cities for illegal immigrants throughout our state. Uh, as governor, I will get that bill passed to make sure that we address that issue here in New Hampshire and that our local law enforcement can cooperate with federal authorities. Senator Morse, 30 seconds to respond. Well, I certainly didn't go against sanctuary, banning sanctuary cities. And as governor, it's one of the first things that I will do. But understand one thing. She voted to give 11 million illegal immigrants amnesty and citizenship. That's citizenship. That means 11 million people that will be voting against us here in New Hampshire. That's what she voted for. We're going to stay with the immigration topic. There'll be more to discuss here. But a I question. would like to address that. Okay, let's have a question from Ariel, and you can fit it in there. Okay.